Hey guys, Michael from Copper vs Glass, and in today's video we're checking out some new accessories from Pataka. We've got one of their MagSafe cases, a awesome MagSafe wireless charger, and again a massive thank you for Pataka for sending these over for the purpose of review. So, let's take a look. So these are the products that we're going to be looking at in today's video. We have the Mag Easy Car Mount Pro 2, and this allows for wireless charging directly in your vehicle with some nice NFC on board as well. And then we have the Sunset version of the Mag Easy Case 5, again for the iPhone 15 Pro. Now on the back here it mentions it's a thinner and lighter case, a caseless feeling, MagSafe compatible, and 100% biodegradable packaging. So taking a quick look inside the package here, now this case is available in a ton of different varieties. They do have a plain black version version if that's something that you're more into but there are also some awesome colors available like this one that I have here and I think it's very fitting for the winter season because it actually kind of reminds me of a woolly jumper now taking a quick look inside the packaging you don't really get too much you get a little bit of information about the case itself and also a handy information guide with regards to taking it on and off of your device now I know it sounds strange but I would actually look into this because with this case it is a very very precise fit so what that will mean is actually taking it on and putting it onto your device it is a little bit tight but that just means that it feels very confident once it is on there and then as you can see here we do have that sunset design very minimal pataka branding down the bottom as you can see here it's got a very nice woven fiber to it which we'll get into a little bit more in the video as you can see on the inside we do have that magsafe ring as well now there's no sort of alignment ring there's normally sort of a, a line of magnets down the bottom to mean that you know certain accessories go onto the case as they should do but again we'll see exactly how that looks in just a moment with regards to actually putting it onto the device like I mentioned is only really for the back and the sides in regards to the overall coverage but once you snap it in it is very satisfying and once it's in there this is not going anywhere on this device as you can see here you do have full coverage around the camera and it does have a nice lip around there as well so if you're going to be putting things face down then you've got no issues at all now i have also used this device on an iphone 14 pro beforehand and i just really like the overall material it's got an aramid fiber and what that basically means is it's super super protective while also feeling very light now it doesn't have that sort of plasticky feel to it it does kind of feel a little bit like fabric now as you can see all of your buttons are completely out so your volume buttons action button power button and of course the USB-C down the bottom and the speaker array nothing at all is going to be covered and it just feels extremely extremely nice now when you're holding it in your hand you can kind of tell that it does go up over the borders of the actual device itself but it doesn't kind of feel sharp in any way it's got a very nice soft feel to it overall and as you can see here it does have a nice lay on the table design it does come up a little bit maybe not all that much if you do have a glass screen protector installed you're not really going to see the benefit of this mine at the moment doesn't have any sort of screen protector on there at all so again putting it face down i've got complete confidence we've then also got the magsafe ring around the back here as well now one thing that i would say like i mentioned beforehand is i have used this case previously on the iphone 14 pro and the magnets were extremely strong so i've got here the official apple magsafe wallet and unfortunately for whatever reason on the easy case five it just kind of moves around it doesn't really stay on there as it should do now i know they're using a slightly slimmer and newer technology for the magnets on this particular case but it just doesn't kind of have that satisfying and confident feel when actually having it on the back there's no alignment like i mentioned before so it does move from left to right it does slide around now don't get me wrong i don't necessarily think it's just going to completely fall off once it's inside your pockets but it doesn't necessarily do as good a job as it did on the easy case 4. now i've got my one here for the iphone 14 pro like i mentioned before and when you put this on the back it is solid it is not going anywhere trying to move it around yes you can move it but it takes a lot more force compared to the easy case 5 again there's no sort of alignment here so i'm not sure why there's such a big difference but in general if you do want to use any sort of magsafe accessories or more importantly the apple wallet then maybe this isn't your particular case now also with this case it does come in at around $69.99. Now while that may not be the most expensive or the cheapest case it's definitely more of the upper end so again it's definitely more of an investment and without that sort of full coverage there may actually be some better or cheaper options out there. However what we next have is the Mag Easy Car Mount 2 Pro which offers 15 watts of fast wireless charging with NFC and this thing looks incredible. You've got strong magnets, fast charge your iPhone, premium materials and again it does have a kind of more universal ball head on there so if you do want to use it with some other accessories or some other mounts you do have the option to do so 
Again, taking a quick look inside the actual packaging side of things, and as you can see, everything is really nicely presented. One thing that I would say about Pataka products is they're not kind of cheap feeling in any way at all. So of course, you do have the instruction guide, and what this basically guides you through is how to use the vent mounts, and also the wireless charging side of things, but it does also work with NFC, and I will link a full video in the description below to exactly how that works. So as you can see here, you do have the vent mount, and it's a very, very simple system. You just put it into the vent on your particular the vehicle and then there's just sort of a turning knob here at the front and when you actually turn that it then tightens it around the back side of the vent that obviously you can't see now don't get me wrong this is a nice option but for me especially here in the uk at the moment it's extremely cold so i normally have the heating on in my car so this may not be the best option during this time of year but you can also get a more standard suction mount you've also got some clips here in regards to cable management you've got two included with 3m material on the back so that just allows you to better cable manage the cable that comes included so as you can see here we've got the wireless charger which I'm just going to set off to the side for a second and then we have the USB-C to USB-C cable here in the bottom now again this one is slightly different to the previous version the other one had more of an L-shaped bracket on there this one's just more of a standard USB-C connector but then we have the wireless charger itself and then of course we have the NFC portion and we've got this little switch down the bottom here which has three different settings which allows you to actually use three different NFC tags. Like I mentioned on the back here we do have this screw ball joint and again just to unscrew it, put it onto the ball joint and you're pretty much set and ready to go. And like I mentioned this thing has a very very nice premium design. Now yes it's a little bit shiny and it does pick up some fingerprints but once it's installed in your vehicle you're not really going to notice that all that much. Also down the bottom here is where the USB-C connector goes and like I mentioned this thing comes in at a not too bad price overall. So you're looking at around $59.99 and again in regards to all the features that it has that's actually pretty good value compared to some other options out there. Now the magnets on this thing as well unlike with the case and the wallet side of things are extremely strong which kind of makes me think that maybe the Apple wallet is the issue here with regards to the magnets and not maybe the case itself because once it is actually on this car mount it is not going anywhere. Now of course if you lift it from top to bottom that's going to come off a lot easier but that's pretty much the same with all MagSafe accessories whereas again doing it from the top if I pull really hard it doesn't really want to come off but this thing is not going to go anywhere so again if you've got it in your vehicle and you're going over some more kind of rough terrain then there's no worry about this thing coming off whatsoever. Now like I mentioned once it's installed in your vehicle you've got three different NFC tags to choose from so you can have one that's going to open Spotify when you tap your phone on the charger or you can have it to open maps or any other app that you can think of. Now it's a little bit annoying in terms of where the NFC placement is on the actual iPhone itself because it means that you can't just attach the phone to the actual charger and then have your app load up. You kind of have to tap the NFC tag first, like you're paying for something, for example, then put it on the charger. So a little bit of a two-step process, but overall it still works extremely well. And again, it just has a little bit more convenience to the iPhone overall once it's in your vehicle. But overall, a pretty nice combo altogether with the case and the mount itself. Now that's going to do it, guys, for this video on these new accessories from Pataka. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure leave a thumbs up down below and if you've got any questions or comments again let me know in the comment section below and if you're not already subscribed now's a great time to do so also once you've hit that subscribe button don't forget to turn on your notifications so you're notified anytime i post a video here on the channel i'm michael from copper versus glass thanks very much for watching and i will catch you guys in the next video